This is James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we are going to talk about what you can do if you have a smart switch and no neutral or if you want a smart switch and you don't have a neutral wire. So there are some really easy solutions to this and we're going to talk about what you can do. But first what we're going to do is describe kind of what, what a neutral wire is, what's the difference between the two ways that it could be wired up and why you need to know this. So a typical light switch that has a neutral is wired up like so. You have a hot going into the junction box, which is the box that is in the wall behind the light switch. And you're gonna have a hot that provides the power. And then you have a load. That is what takes the power from the switch out to the light bulb. And then from the light bulb, coming back down, you have a neutral wire that takes it back to the circuit breaker. And all three of these wires pass through a junction box behind the wall, behind the switch, that allows you to wire up a light switch that requires a neutral wire, which is very common for smart light switches. A lot of smart light switches require a neutral wire because the neutral wire allows them to have Wi-Fi connectivity even when the switch is open or off, okay? So, if you have this situation, you can use pretty much any standard smart light switch. This is very common on houses built after 1980. Any newer house, you should have this configuration if your house is up to code for the most part, most circumstances. But if you've got an older house or uh, you live in an area with maybe a little bit lax code enforcement or if somebody used to be a DIY job for their electrical system, it's not a necessarily a bad thing. Um, you may have a situation where you don't have any neutral in your light switch, okay? So you've got a hot coming in You've got a load going out. You've only got two wires. You don't have a neutral wire in the junction box, the switch box behind the light switch, okay? If that's the scenario, you are very limited in terms of the light switches that will work without a neutral. And you're very limited in terms of what you can do, but there are some options for getting smart lighting if you have a situation like this where you don't have a neutral, which is very common on houses built before 1980, or if you live in an area where just they don't require a neutral in the switch box, which anymore is very uncommon, but it could happen. So what could you do? You could wire up a neutral, but what does that actually involve? Well, that would involve you finding where the neutral goes in the circuit and bringing a neutral wire into this box, which typically requires you to open up walls, pull cabling, or pull wire through conduit. And all those things are very difficult, time consuming. You're probably gonna end up painting, patching, doing drywall. Unless you're ongoing a major renovation, I would not recommend adding a neutral or unless you just love big projects and you wanna keep busy. Certainly, go ahead, have it. It can be done, it's not a problem. Number two is let's say you just want the home automation impacts or effects of a smart lighting system like you're looking to do with a smart switch but you don't have a neutral wire. Well, there's a super easy DIY solution that almost anyone can do. If you can screw in a light bulb, you can do this. All you have to do is take out your old light bulb, screw in a new smart light bulb like Philips Hue, which we will include a link to below. And before I get too far along, right now is a great time to like and subscribe to this video. And please support us by clicking on any of the links below. It only takes you a second, but helps us give you great educational content like this in the future. So you could use a Philips Hue smart light bulb. And with that Philips Hue smart light bulb, you basically just screw it into the light fixture, set it up on the app, and now you have a smart bulb that can be controlled from your phone, it can be controlled with Alexa or Google Home, and it works just like your smart switch was intended to work with a few minor exceptions. Now, the first exception to it is that it does require Wi-Fi to work. So if your Wi-Fi network goes down, you may be in a position where the lights are on and you don't have a way to turn them off. But you do, because you could still turn them off at the light switch on the wall. But that is another problem. If you have that light switch on the wall, what commonly happens is you've got the smart bulb in there in the light fixture and you've got friends or family members and they turn off the light switch and then now you no longer have smart home control because the Philips Hue requires power going to it to communicate with Wi-Fi and when it doesn't have power going to it because you turned off the light switch, 
it will no longer function. So they do have some little devices on Amazon that you can find there. We'll include the links to those below as well. that allow you to keep the switch in the on position. It's like a little plastic tab. It goes right over the top of your light switch. And then you'll be able to turn it on and off. Or I mean, excuse me, keep it on so that you'll be using your phone or Alexa or Google Home to turn it on and off. Now, the third thing you can do with those light bulbs, uh, the smart light bulbs, that's really kind of nice is you can get a little remote like this from Philips Hue and it just sticks on the wall. You could stick it next to the existing light switch or over the top of the existing light switch and it will allow you to use it just like a light switch. The remote control is got a battery in it and a Wi-Fi chip and it will communicate with the light switch and allow you to turn it on and off with this extra little remote. So highly recommend that. That's a good idea if you are going the route of the smart light bulbs or smart lighting, get one of these remotes, put the bulbs in. You don't have to do any wiring, which is awesome. So that is a DIY solution. Now, if you want the permanent best solution, I'm going to say for a smart light switch with no neutral, what I recommend is going with the Lutron Cassetta. Now you could research all kinds of stuff. We've already done that before. This is what we do, um, smart homes. But what you're going to find is the best option for smart home control without a neutral is the Lutron Cassetta light switches. Lutron's a huge name brand. They've been around for years and years. They're used in all kinds of uh, home building, high-end homes, commercial. These are incredibly reliable. This is the most dependable switch that I've encountered that's easy to install that does not require a neutral wire. So we'll just show you the back of this right here. Um, it's only got two wires here. Okay, so just like this no neutral scenario, it only has a hot wire and a load wire. And you can use it in a junction box that does not have a neutral wire. Yeah, in this third wire, this is just a ground wire. Okay, ground wire is just for your protection. It's not actually part of the circuit there. So that's just connecting to the metal uh, case of this actual uh, light switch. It's not part of the circuit or functionality of the light switch. Um, so, if you don't have a neutral wire, this is really the best option. What I like about these switches is that we'll turn it right side up here, is that they have very simple controls and they have a lot of functionality. They're dimmer switches, so if you press down here, you turn it off. If you press up here to turn it on, and then if you want to adjust the dimming, you just press these two tabs right here, and you can do full range dimming with these light switches. So really great option if you don't have a neutral wire. Um, they also, you're going to need to use a hub, you're going to connect this just into your router and then it's going to broadcast the Wi-Fi signal to these switches. You can put 50 switches on one router, okay, or one of these hubs. And if you have more than 50 switches, that's awesome, good for you, please contact us because we can help you out. And uh, you would just need two of these hubs and then you're going to be able to have 100 switches and 150. You get three switches, three of these hubs. And what else I like about these is they, they have these little remotes. You can buy these remotes. It's called Pico Remote with the Lutron Cassetta system. And let's say you want to make a three-way switch in an area that didn't have a three-way switch before. Well, all you're going to do is you're going to take this Pico Remote, and they even have a little template or a mounting plate that looks just like a built-in uh, wall switch. And you just screw it in with two screws, and now you have a three-way switch. This is a wireless controller. It communicates with this light switch in the hub and turns it into a three-way switch. So a really easy way without opening up any walls, creating any wiring or anything, that if you wanted to add a three-way switch, let's say in a room where you've got two entrances, you could do so. So that's a, another nice feature of these. These can be controlled via your phone app. You're gonna get the full smart home control, timers, schedules, all that kind of stuff that you can do on the app. But they will also work with Amazon Alexa and Google Home voice commands. So you can you know, say all kinds of things like A-L-E-X-A, -E turn off the lights or okay, Google, turn off the lights and, and do all that kind of stuff. So really versatile piece of equipment. This is what I would recommend for a smart switch. It doesn't require neutral. We're going to have this as the first link below. Please click on that if you are looking for the switch. Now why I say that is because they do make these with a neutral wire. There is another version that has a neutral wire. You don't want that. Otherwise, you'd be like, why did I watch this video? This doesn't work. So please pay attention. Click the link below. We've got exactly what you need, the dimmer switch. Um, it'll be part of the kit. You don't have to buy the kit. We'll include another option there below as well. But uh, these are great switches. It's a great way to add smart lighting if you don't have a neutral wire in your home. And please click the exact one below so you get the right product that does not require the neutral switch. So 
Thank you for watching. This is James with the one hour smarthome.com. Please like and subscribe to this video. You can support us by clicking on the links below and we will see you next time.